Brothers and sisters, friends and comrades, I am Cuba Libre, and this is Deus Ex 3. Hardcore. Hardcore. I'm here outside the DPD building. Detroit PD. DPD is what we call it when we're in the know. And uh, I'm going to go inside the DPD building. Outside to in. And you get to watch a lovely loading screen. Congratulations. Maybe I should have started the video inside. Whatever. Uh, we'll talk to him in a second. First, we got an yeah, old friend. Yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. Oh! God damn. <laughs> Even he does. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in a two-bit precinct. In a two-bit precinct. I don't precinct. need this from you. I get enough of it hey. at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. You think I knew you'd be here? I'd have been just as happy without ever seeing you again, believe me. <laughs> But I need to get into what? the morgue. Is so he doing a Brooklyn thing? And stop getting in the way when innocent people are in danger. You That's what he thinks is me, Jensen. You're not my boss anymore. intimidating. After two years, you got a lot of nerve to come here and talk to me like this. Don't you care that my job's on the line? That I need it. Open the Why door. You, just... you better tone it down. I'm warning you. People are in danger. And you're right. It's not my risk to take. So I'm not going to force you to do anything, and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. I don't think I can. Ah, oh, Wayne. Wayne! It all comes back to the kid, doesn't it? Yes. We were given a direct order, Jensen. So I took the shot. I followed orders. He was augmented, an unknown factor. He was too much of a risk. Yeah. He was 15, Haas. In what world can you justify putting a bullet between the eyes of a 15-year-old boy? Uh, uh, what happened wasn't my fault. You were in command, but when they told you to take the shot, you refused. So they told me. You and I, we were trained to follow orders, Jensen. I couldn't say no. I wasn't strong enough. Adam, please. I need to hear you say it wasn't my fault. <laughs> it, that's, is that what you need? Well, they just give it right to you, don't they? Well, it wasn't your Man, fault. It was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. Adam, I... Thanks. Are we gonna kiss? The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. Now, uh... I need to be alone for a while. I need to be alone for a while. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, there's my thousand XPs. Let's talk to this yeah. fuck nut. What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha. And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? I know you handle the critical Sky. evidence linked to the case. And I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. <laughs> you can give it a shot there, buddy. Don't worry. He'll get his. They'll all get theirs. So, first things first, I gotta take out this guy, because while I am back here legally, in the sense that they don't mind me being here, 
if they see you hacking things, they'll get mad. And there's gonna be a lot of hacking. I hope that's okay with you, because it's just like uh, how it is. Occasionally pays off. Never happened. Let's go ahead and hack in. can't hack that panel because that camera will see me while I'm Hello? doing it. Oh, I'm not here. I'm not here, Wayne. Um, but fear not. I'll have my chance. Nothing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'll make Access it. Grant. Yeah, sorry, I can't just put the hacking in like a separate thing because uh, it's just too much and it's in between a bunch of stuff you might actually want to watch. God damn it. <laughs> so, uh,. You're just gonna be watching a lot of hacking. Sorry. What I don't want to do is set off any alarms. That would be. Oh, come on! Uh. Holy balls, holy balls, should have used a nuke. Should have nuked. Oh god. Access granted. Oh my god! You see that? Oh. Oh. <coughs> Most excitement we've had. Hi, yi, yi. Oh, some cold Thanks. shit. Several violent skirmishes did break out, but no serious injuries were reported. I think anyone's watching me here. Reporting to you live from so can grab this panel. Even though it's uh all the media speculation surrounding that hostage situation hmm. in Detroit has just blown through. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the, to the, arrival of the bonus Hall, celebrity author and founder of the Ooh, maybe so. organization Humanity Front. I'm blowing nuke, I could probably Speaking do it. From the tarmac at Wayne County Airport, Taggart called the attacks. Oh god. Extremely regrettable affair. I'd very much like to meet with David Sarah in person. To offer my deepest sympathies and assure him Access granted. Oh, and I get a new no well, link to So that was front. worth it. <laughs> Could've just gone straight to the end. <sighs> I wanna go upstairs before I get downstairs. But um Yeah, I'll be back. Now that being said, I do hope that you Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly. Sup! United in their cause to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if millionaire Hugh Darrow, the man whose innovations first propelled augmentation technology to the forefront, will also be present. 
See now. Oh. This is Eliza Cassell. Here goes. Yeah, awesome. Not even gonna bother trying to get that uh that thing. <laughs> That is a lost cause. Look. Now this is a restricted area, so it actually will all go off. The alarm will go off if I go in there and the camera sees me. But fear not, our old friend, the air vent, will help us out. Well, whatever. Now they're both one. Access grant. Really have enough room for that? Probably just barely. <laughs> and sometimes they just straight run out of ideas for those pocket secretaries. They're just like, <laughs> whatever. Fuck it. Yeah, it's just like the code is this. I didn't get that one? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh well. Yeah, the end nodes fill a lot faster than, even if they're at the same level, than like the data stores, so. Oh well. Better than getting an alarm. <laughs> This guy would. You supposed to be here, sir? I thought the station had been locked down. Hmm. If I take, I want to take him out, but if I take him out while he's, oh, ho, ho, ho. by the rail. Oops. Huh? Um. Let's see. So there's a clearance node there. And a big juicy four there. Look at that clearance. And we're good. Access grid. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> 